And then this will be the social work gallery. So right now it has the recommendations or acceptable range. Uh -huh. So then if you're, um, so then if you just want to take like 500 away from this okay. every day and make that your goal so that you can lose about a pound a week. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to lose more than that, you could probably, you could probably cut almost 700 calories a day. Um, but I know that's a challenge, yeah. so it's probably easier to start with five, and then as you lose weight, it'll get easier, okay. and you'll be more used to eating less. Okay. Um, and exercise will really help. Okay. So, yeah, so I did your, this next sheet. So, I, yeah, I calculated what your diet is now, and it's about 2,900 calories oh, wow. a day. Okay. Um. Yeah, so you could definitely, I think there's definitely room for improvement. Um, but I have some ideas to help you cut calories without really affecting how much your intake is. Okay. So, I noticed that you just drink regular pop yeah. at lunch, which yeah. is about 150 calories. Uh -huh. um, are you opposed to diet? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, um, so no, I don't think so. So no. that would be e something easy that you could just switch out, and that's 150 calories right there. So oh, that's almost, wow. you know, a third of what you'd have to cut every yeah. day. Yeah. Um, and then your meats on your sandwich are really, deli meats tend to be high in calories, especially salami, because it has such a high fat, saturated fat content. Uh -huh. um, so maybe if you wanted to try something like turkey, or, I know you said you like the chicken salad, um, but the, sa the um, sandwich salads tend to have a lot of calories too just because of so much um, mayonnaise in them right. tends to be high in calories. So okay. maybe if you just want to have like a turkey sandwich or something like that, and then maybe try and put some vegetables on it, so uh -huh. it would increase like, um, vegetables really tend to have a lot of fiber in them, so they keep you fuller longer, but they don't really add to your calorie content. So. Okay. Um, Whatever kind of vegetables you like on your sandwich, like um, even like I like everything on my sandwiches, carrots and mm -hmm. pickles and yeah. um, lettuce and tomato and all that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah, I should try that. Um, and then so I noticed I, um, that you have a lot of dressing on your salad. Uh huh. Yeah, that's how you like it. Yeah. You can't. I mean, I don't know lettuce. I don't know if I've, I mean, my whole life I've had a lot of dressing on my salads, but I mean, I guess to maybe a point where that's a part of the salad. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just used to it. Um, sometimes it, um, it's a lot easier if you just like stick your, instead of just drowning your salad in dressing, if you just like stick your fork in your, like a little cup of dressing oh, and right. then eat the salad, that ends up saving a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you don't lose. And then you don't have to just eat dry lettuce, which right. nobody really likes. Yeah. Um, and then I would just work on slowly cutting on your portion. Okay. Um, and then your marinara sauces are going to be a lot lower calorie than your cheese sauces. Uh -huh. So maybe if you just try and have marinara more, more times a week. Uh -huh. And then um, it's the same thing with your beef and veal as with your sandwich meats at lunch, they're going to have a lot more, they tend to have a lot more um, fat in them than the chicken and the shellfish would. Okay. Um, so if you want to maybe substitute that more, and then it's been shown that um, red meat is not as good for cardiovascular health, so that's just another reason. Okay. Um, so I'll just make a list of tips for you. That way. Um, so I can still have my Italian. Yeah, you can definitely still have your Italian and eat your same. You can eat the same things, you just have to try and have less. So, like, some big things that would cut out calories would maybe be like less butter. Butter's uh -huh. a really big one. Uh -huh. um, and I understand about not liking the I can't believe it's not mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and maybe try instead of sugar in your coffee, you could do like a sugar substitute, like a soda or a yeah. something like that. Right, yeah, I think about that. 
Yeah, so just be like, just kind of whittling away at everything slowly. Mm-hmm. And then, um, would you like to come back in like three weeks or a month and like see how it's going and we can yeah. talk about it again and yeah, see I mean, what your new diet looks like. And then if you're maybe more ready to make some like bigger changes, you can come up with more diet ideas. Yeah, I mean, this has been a pretty fun experience then. Yeah, I thought you would just come in and pound me foot up and eat it and tell me to eat. Mm-hmm. Pretty much just clean shit and, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, as long as we can just work on it and not you know, feel really comfortable with this and we're not just totally drastically altering stuff. Right. I think the biggest thing is just, like, being aware. Like, it's so easy to just mindlessly right. eat or, like, cook to what um, tastes good, but there's a lot of small things that you can do. And then um, I really like to just use measuring cups. So, like, um, you can just pull up the food guide pyramid on the internet. And it's just a good, I mean, you don't have to stick, you just want to try and stick as closely to this as you can. Okay. Um, and then it has all the portion sizes on it. So, like, if you just, like, measure out your vegetables and you just kind of keep a count in your head, like, oh, I had a half a cup at lunch and mm-hmm. two cups at breakfast or... Mm-hmm. Um, however that goes so and it's kind of a pain to measure but once you like once you get an idea like if you do this for a week then you can kind of get an idea what your but how much a cup of vegetables is or how much a half a cup of fruit is mm-hmm. and then you know if you just do it one day a month you can kind of keep that in perception right it's just easier to yeah look think, at your portions I think my wife has these at home I mean I don't do a lot of it I mean I mean, a lot. We do have it. So, we can use that. Um, okay, so I'll t- um, write up all the recommendations that I made. Do you have any other questions? Um, I mean, I know you mentioned um, the fruit. Do, you think I, do, I need to, do I need to add, like, I mean, I know you brought that up. You brought, made a point to bring that up. Um, I, th- I think you really should. Fruit has a lot of fiber in it, and then... And maybe if you had a piece of fruit between, even between your lunch and your dinner, uh-huh. then it would kind of curb your appetite a little bit. Um, and then fruits also have a lot of essential vitamins. Okay. So you can't get any. I mean, they're vegetables too, but mm-hmm. a lot higher concentrated in fruits. So. Right. Okay. Um, or even if you wanted to try, so instead of a couple nights a week, instead of having ice cream, have a piece of fruit. Uh-huh. That would really help. Um, the red wine is good too. I would just need to try and keep it down to like one glass a night. Okay, so it is true though what they say. Because I've always wondered that. Yep. Yep. Not doctor. So. Not doctor uh, dietitian. Okay. Um. Yep. Red wine increases the risk of cardiovascular heart disease. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. No, I think. I think it's good. You just seem really open-minded and um, ready to change, so we can just just kind of make a few small changes for this month and see if that works or see if we have to be more aggressive. Okay. And just keep in mind that it's really frustrating at first, and it can be mm-hmm. really discouraging, but if you just stick with it, you can reach your goal. It's hard, because I know... In the end, it'll be worth it because you just feel so much better. Uh huh. Can move easier. Right. Right. That makes sense. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. In. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me and help me out. And I'll definitely no problem. You're take those uh sure. those guidelines. You write them out for me. Yep. For sure. I'll do that right now. Cool. Excellent. Thank you. Yep. You're